Hello, my name is Debbie, and I live up in Tahoe City, Michigan, and we live on haunted land. I found this out um, as we had the foundation of our house put in and our home put in, and uh, I had this terrible odor that was lingering around our house and particular one side of the house and I figured I better have my husband go up under the house and see if something died under there. Well, after he did that, he didn't find a thing. So I just kept having this smell off and on, off and on. And um, my room was in the vicinity of where I'm smelling it. So I'm wondering, is this a ghost or something and wanting us to get out? So one afternoon I thought about it hard and I thought, I think I'm going to try and talk to the spirits if there is spirits around here and see if I can reason with them to not leave this kind of smell and that we're not going to hurt them and we're not going to disturb them. and. For the most part, we are enjoying the property. It's beautiful. We love it, and we're going to take care of it, and there's no concern for, for them. Well, I did that, and a while later, a um, few weeks went by, and everything seemed good, so um, I thought we were good to go. Um, another time, they did come in the house and do it one more time, and it was so bad that I even got mad about it. I said, you know what, this is not right. This shouldn't be done. To quit it, we're not going nowhere, and stop it. So um, it seemed to work. It was weird, but it seemed to work. But I've been out in the yard and I decided to um, take a lot of photos so I could share with family on how beautiful the property was and our beautiful pond we have in the woods um, behind our house. And I noticed I started getting um, funny stuff in my pictures and I got looking at them and I said, you know, it kind of looks like ghost to my husband. And after that, I shared it with a few friends and they thought the same thing. Um, I actually was getting images in the pond water. Um, I had seen a skeleton in there. I seen a boy. I seen a girl. I seen a woman. And I seen a man and woman. Um, they were dressed in 1800 clothing. The man had um, a suit on. It was a tweed suit with um, wearing spat shoes. She was dressed in something um, real elegant, um, blouse with um, ruffles around the neck. Um, I also found one with a lady that was in the pond that had real beautiful long hair. I believe it to be the same lady. Um, I think the two children must have been theirs, a um, boy and a girl. Um, the girl had bangs and her hair seemed to be about neck length. The boy had um, his hair had bangs like a girl. Um, I had after that in the house we started also having um, poltergeist and I'd have where I spotted in some pictures. Um, children hiding in the corner of my closet and um, one time I was taking a picture in my bedroom trying to see if I could catch anything and I actually had my TV in, in front of my bed so I took a picture into the TV the TV was not on and I got images of children on the bed with me another occasion I had um, just about falling asleep and I could feel impressions of movement on the bed with me of like walking or moving 
and it scared the hell out of me and woke me up. So that was hard to get over. Um, we've also had um, where drawers are open and no reason for it and nobody done it with things scattered on the floor. Um, I've experienced uh, two black shadow ghosts that I dreamt but in the dream they was after somebody and trying to carry them away and it seemed that one of them spotted me watching this and when they spotted me they dropped what they were doing and came after me and was grabbing on my arm I woke up screaming no no please no and um, I got up and I couldn't get back to sleep for a couple hours well I finally did get back to sleep but um, I found the next day when I was opening a curtain my arm went so sore so I looked down there was teeth marks up close to the area of my elbow backside and front side of it and bruises on my wrist this stayed there for a long time I took photos of it um, another occasion we had a visitor ghost that decided to tear the closet upside down um, I was out in California and I got a phone call from my husband and he told me he says you're not going to believe what happened he said went in the closet to get a shirt and the closet was shut up and the door to the bedroom was shut up and when nobody could have got in there so um, there was a heap of my shoes piled all in the top middle of the closet and so he called and said all that to me so when I got back from my trip I had to check this out myself and he left it all there and I decided well yep he's right must be the ghost so I got one set of shoes and put it together and then decided I'm going to finish this up tomorrow um, the next day when I got up to go take care of the shoes um, I found that my shoes that I did pair up and put away was moved to the left and a different set of shoes was in place of it and they didn't even match and I got freaked out that was so weird and um, I did one time one night I had just fallen asleep and I turned on my side and I happened to open my eyes and right in my face I go holy hell there was this ghost materializing right in front of me and I almost shit my pants but as I was screaming this it vanished in thin air. It was gone. Um, I can tell you my husband's experienced a few things too and I'm sure he's going to share with you um, some of them things. I'm going to have to cut this short because my camera won't take any more video. Thank you.